as if before they started work. So we started work by defining learning in practical ways that teachers could make happen in the classroom. Then we put the group of design together. Then we worked out the best way for teachers to deliver that curriculum. And then we worked out the best ways for kids to demonstrate that they had learned. And we found that that, uh, that 4D is defined as idea of a demonstration. It's just a really good way of thinking about the work. And it's what we've used for our planning here. We said, what do we need in the defining column, the design column, the delivery column, the demonstrate column, and then how will we achieve those things? But for those of you who do that kind of work, who do design work in complex situations, it's really not a bad modus operandi for doing the work. Um, we found it incredibly useful. It's in fact what's mainly manageable. So this is a, a very, just a couple of slides about our design. So the group, the curriculum is called the Common Ground Curriculum because we were all on common ground and we decided that we should study the content that's relevant to all human people wherever they are. Um, we defined learning in three ways. We said we need to build kids' conceptual understanding, one of the threads in that uh, spiral, in that helix. Uh, that's because if you work with experts, if you look at the work of experts, experts deal with big ideas and the connections across those ideas. If you ask an expert in uh, IT design or agricultural research or hotel management or whatever it is, they probably won't give you a string of little facts. They'll probably give you the big ideas that frame their work. You know, so, so I can say, okay, curriculum design, you know, really what's useful is if you define it first, why don't you start by defining the job, and then you have to work out the elements of the design, then you have to work out what's that going to look like in the classroom, so let's call that delivery, but I'm not giving you lots of tiny little facts. Experts in any field have moved beyond small facts and extrapolated from those to the big ideas behind those facts. So we work a lot with getting kids to look at knowledge, you have to do all this in the context of deep knowledge, but then, that knowledge is no good unless you can draw from it. So what's actually going on here then? So we do a lot of work with conceptual understanding. Then we do a lot of work with skills, which we call competencies, because I happen to like alliteration and it helps teachers remember. So conceptual learning, the big idea is competency learning. What skills do kids need to be successful? And then the third piece, which is, I've talked about quite a lot, the ethical side, character learning. What dispositions help kids learn? Things like resilience. There's a huge difference, research says, between kids who manage their own learning and stick at something and kids who don't. You know, I was working uh, with Martin in kindergarten uh, um, just about a week ago. Uh, I don't think I'll ever forgive you, by the way, but because uh, I was making dragons with kindergarten kids out of cardboard, big flying dragons. And, and I knew the kids because she talked to me about some of them, but I didn't, honestly, I didn't remember all their names. But there's one particular student who, who never wants to finish anything. Uh, there are all sorts of reasons for that to do with upbringing and things. And, and so after about five minutes, as the other kids were painting their pieces, he just didn't want to do that anymore. And honestly, I'm thinking, if we don't address that, that guy will not be successful. Because if you're not resilient, if you don't have what's called in, in English football, in terms of bounce back ability, if you don't have those books now written about it, one is called grit, about why people are successful. One reason people are successful is they just don't give up. So we also <coughs> work on character. We also work on values like compassion. We put kids in situations like service learning where we do expect them to show some compassion for the people around them. So, in summary, our curriculum design is about uh, three forms of learning conceptual learning, competence in learning, and character learning, and obviously below that level of very, very, uh, 30,000 foot level is a whole layer of standards, nursery through 12, so that the kids uh, are actually taught to certain levels and they're assessed at those levels. But it's a very simple design. Um, here's another piece of it. We wonder how the world.